Welcome everybody, so today we will be continuing laser and today we will be seeing helium neon gas laser. So let's start it. So helium neon laser is a gas laser that was fabricated by Ali Jawan and its co-workers okay, in 1961. It consists of mixture of helium and neon in the ratio of 10 is to 1. Okay? And the pressure inside this discharge tube is 1 mm of mercury. Okay, and the gas system is placed between these two like mirror splits. Okay, and it uses resonator system, and the energy is coupled by the resonator system. Okay, and there are some important points I have also written that so you can just go through them. So, helium neon laser are most likely used lasers, so these lasers are many industrial and scientific used. Okay and there are like it consists of the essential components that are present in the helium neon laser are pump source the pump source that is the high voltage power the gain medium the laser tube that was and the resonating cavity so this is a basic diagram of it okay so you can just note it down so now we will see the action or working of the laser so basically what happens when an electric discharge of around 10 kilovolt is a is passed through the gas mixture okay so then the helium atoms are excited by the impacts of the accelerated electrons in a discharge tube for its less mass in comparison to the neon atom since helium is the second so second in the periodic table so it is very light and neon is much more heavier than helium so hel helium will like move randomly much more than neon okay so as a result some of the helium atoms are raised to one of the metal stable states uh, that is 2s1 so 2s1 okay this state i hope you are getting it this state right here and 2s3 and this state also so you can see i written heli excitation by, by electron collision helium goes to this state or it can go to this state okay now what happens so this is the ground state i already mentioned this is the ground state so there's some equation that forms here so i'm just writing it so what happens electron plus helium and it becomes electron 2 and helium star so this is radioactive so this he star represents the energy level of helium atom in the metastable state so for this state i'm representing it by he star and E1 and E2 are electron energies before and after collision okay so these are colliding by the neon atoms and now what happens so now two of the higher states the 2s and the 3s so these two states suppose these two states okay what happens have almost the same energy as of the two metastable state you can see that they are all, almost lying in the same like line okay so as a result after the collisions between the excited helium atoms and the with the neon atoms the neon atoms in the ground state are raised to 3s and 2s in the excited states and the helium atoms return to its ground state by exchanging energy because what happens see this helium atoms are raised to this and then so the neon atoms are raised to that and the helium atoms are like coming back because energy cannot be lost so one has to gain and the other has to lose okay so thus the energy thus the collision will result in something some equation transfer like this so suppose if it was in 2s3 and after colliding with neon it come back to normal state that was in ground state and neon goes to the metastable state that is of 2s and similarly for Hg star that was in 1s and it after colliding with neon it becomes Hg will come into ground state and this neon will go to the metastable state of 3s okay that neon it represents the excited state you can also say that and after some time this gas discharge process leads to population inversion because so much electrons are like coming in there so between 3s and it's 3p and like 2p or 4p whatever you can say 
and also between the levels of 2s and 2p in the neon atoms so the transition occurs okay and there's a higher probability of level 3s being more populated so by continuous this is the the orbital gets more populated and after achieving population inversion one or two more one or two photons emit spontaneously so and it triggers stimulated emission and produce three type of lasing actions so here we'll get three equations or three lasing actions so one is 3s goes to 3p okay then 3s goes to 2p and 2s goes to 2p so it goes in three step here i can also write it as 3p 2p and 2s so these are the three arrows that represent okay after that the neon atoms return from the lower energy levels of 3p and 2p to the level of 1s so it comes to this state also after emission now what happens from the level 1s the neon atoms return to the ground state now it comes here okay so since it comes a ground state through collision or like diffusion to the walls of the tube so after colliding it will lose energy and the walls will gain energy in terms of heat so since the discharge tube is maintained continuously the cycle of events also takes place continuously so this helium and neon laser is a continuous laser also and this is how the total operation of an helium neon gas laser takes place so i hope that you understood the working of it and if you had any problem just comment below and if you did like the video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos so thanks for watching it